Hello Taurus, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading from July 10th through July 17th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing to my videos. Um, and uh, scheduling personal readings with me. I really appreciate you guys for choosing me. Um, and I think I said don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And don't forget to subscribe. Um, that's all I can remember right now. So, Taurus, let's get this show on the road. What's going on for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. What's going on for Taurus for the weekend? For the week of July 10th. July 10th through July 17th, 2017. Taurus, July 10th through July 17th. Love reading, 2017. All right, Taurus. I don't know, for some reason, my arms just start hurting. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that'll do it. Um, so, the overall thing is a third-party situation going on. I don't know if this is you, Taurus, or your partner, or both of you guys. But usually when it's in the top like this, it's both people. And third-party situations aren't just sleeping with other people. You can just be interested or talking to them or dating somebody when you have somebody at home, okay? So, just because you're not sleeping with the person doesn't mean that you're not basically cheating. If you don't want this person to do it to you... It's considered cheating. All right. So, ooh, I'm feeling like the friends are talking about it. Or it might possibly be one of the friends. Okay, Taurus? Mm. I'm feeling earth sign, too. You are. Might be another earth sign. All right, so... I, I'm getting a feeling of, uh, the friends know about the cheating and they're dis demasculating your partner because of it. They're like playing them, like talking bad and reckless about them or her, you know, just the masculine person. They like dogging them. Mm. Wow, so, uh, you thought it was a wise decision to tell your friends about this, or they thought this, because it's a general reading, it could go both ways, but you thought it was a wise decision to tell these people about this, and I feel like they kept telling you over and over, don't do it, or your partner could be telling you over and over that they feel like you're doing something. We're going to clarify that one. All right. What is this Sirens card about? What is this Sirens card about for the Taurus? Oop. We got a jumper. Okay. Mm. So. Okay, I'm jumping back to your friends here. Your friends were just basically saying how much of a burden this was going to be. They may be talking about how much of a burden this is being so I'm feeling like the third party situation that's going on is a materialistic gain here it's not uh I don't feel like it's a sexual thing going on I feel like it's a materialistic gain but now it's starting to be more of a burden than a help you know like this person that you cheating with is starting to gather feelings for you and you're like no nah, that's not the deal Okay, yeah, so you getting st standing up at night. This could be your partner, too. It don't have to be you. But because you like, oh, my God, they might come knock on my door. You know, they might start sending me text messages. It's going to mess up my relationship. So now you like, freaking out about the whole thing. But I don't know. I don't know in this situation. All right, we're going to do one uh, Last card, and then, well, I'm going to just flip the deck, and then we're going to read the Cleo cards. All right, future phrase. So, whatever the situation is, if you break up with them, they break up with you, or 
you know, you keep your partner. It seems it's saying it's going to end well. So all this um, stressing about, you know, what this person might do to, while you sleep <laughs> or at night. It's just your mind playing tricks on you because you know you're wrong. All right. So what's going on for Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. What's going on for Taurus for the week of July 10th through July 17th, 2017? Love reading. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so somebody's working real hard, but I feel like they made a choice about th three things. It could be fighting for a job, fighting for a relationship, or fighting for something. But they they made it made up their mind. All right. Mm. Wow. So just looking at these, you turn into uh oh geez, is this an ex you dealing with? Yeah. Alright, let me just read the cards. Alright, so we got the Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Let me make sure I read the wrong card last time. Upside down. Alright, so a the Distinguished female, concerned with public opinion, slightly arrogant, look behind and smile before extending your hand. I'm sorry, but this sounds like you, Taurus. I mean, this might be your partner. I don't know. But whoever this person is using their ex, I believe, for money or just a th third party for money and luxury items, this might be you. But then I, I feel like... I feel like in some cases, you're go the Taurus is going to try to go back to their ex, and their ex going to be like, nope, that's not happening, or vice versa. Somebody going to turn down a love offer because of the person is too materialistic, I'm feeling. All right, so we got the death reverse. That, to me, says somebody's trying to hold something from ending. So, I don't know. Let's read the death reverse. Lack of direction and desire to remain in a bad situation. So, of course, you want to sit in here even though you're having nightmares and have this person giving you money and stuff, but you know it ain't going to end right. You know, you know that you know you're going to get busted. You can't have your cake and eat it too. All right, so you got the high orphan. All right, and this is upright. A search for meaning and truth. A time of self-discovery and morality. Sometimes feelings of being overwhelmed, deeper ties to others may occur. Conservative ideas. Yeah, this is dealing with your ex. You're trying to figure out right now who you want more. Do you want love or do you want money? That's it. So we got the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups says... After much work, you will be rewarded for your efforts. Be careful not to appear both fool and vain. So, I don't know. I think that's like just a message card to choose love, not money. Because that person that it has the money, your ex or whoever that is that's giving you stuff, they not going to want to keep you. They only want you just for a little bit. But that's all I got. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, thank you guys for everything you do. And have a wonderful week.